In today's news, Amazon drones set to dock on streetlights. Poor lighting prompts concern before Rio Olympics. And a top U.S. basketball team announces Li-Fi first. Lux Today is brought to you in association with GUI, and it starts in just a moment, so stick around. <music> Amazon's plans to use drones to deliver packages to customers are well known, but up until recently, the fine detail of their proposal remained a mystery. The company has now been granted a patent on drone docking stations, giving a major hint as to how the system will work. The standalone structures would sit on top of streetlights, offering a place for the company's delivery craft to charge up. The drone stations would also incorporate solar panels, security cameras, and even Wi-Fi. The creation of the charging stations would mean that Amazon's drones would be able to continuously hop from one drop-off point to another, potentially opening up entire countries to this one-of-a-kind delivery service. Meanwhile, in Rio de Janeiro, tempers are running high in the run up to the Summer Olympic Games. The athlete's village in Rio has been described as unsafe and unlivable by a number of Olympic officials just days before the Games are due to commence. Lighting has not been installed in the stairwells of the 31 tower blocks that comprise the largest accommodation site in Olympic history. The absence of stairwell lighting, along with a number of other maintenance issues, has prompted Australian Olympic officials to say that they will refuse to let their team move in unless the lighting problems are rectified. Australia, Great Britain, the U.S., Italy, and New Zealand have all raised complaints with the Rio Games Organizing Committee, and some athletes are even planning to boycott the village. One sports venue that won't be disappointing patrons is the new Golden State Warriors Stadium in California. It's been announced that the building, which will be home to one of the most successful basketball teams in America, will feature cutting-edge Li-Fi technology. The Scottish company, the Li-Fi Center, are thought to be behind the installation at the high-tech sports and entertainment complex, which is due for completion in 2018. The technology will allow Li-Fi equipped street lamps to transmit data to people passing beneath them. The stadium's floor tiles will generate electricity when people walk on them. Li-Fi can be rapidly integrated into everyday applications, and it was recently announced that it will be installed throughout the Paris Metro. That wraps things up. Lux Today has been brought to you by GUI, the IoT lighting people. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally 24 hours a day at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson with Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.